bread you rise from flour, water, and fire. Dense or light, flattened or round, you duplicate the mother's rounded womb, and earth's twice yearly swelling. How simple you are, bread, and how profound. You line up on the baker's powdered trays like silverware or plates or pieces of paper. And suddenly, life washes over you. There's the joining of seed and fire. And you're growing, growing all at once like hips, mouths, breasts, mounds of earth, or people's lives. The temperature rises, you're overwhelmed by fullness, the roar of fertility, and suddenly your golden color is fixed. And when your little wombs were seated, a brown scar laid its burn, the length of your two halves toasted juncture. Now whole, you are mankind's energy, a miracle often admired, the will to live itself. O bread, familiar to every mouth, we will not kneel before you. Men do not implore unclear gods or obscure angels. We will make our own bread out of sea and soil. We will plant wheat on our earth and the planets. Bread for every mouth, for every person, our daily bread. Because we plant its seed and grow it not for one man, but for all. There will be enough. There will be bread for all the peoples of the earth. And we will also share with one another whatever has the shape and the flavor of bread. The earth itself, beauty and love, all taste like bread and have its shape the germination of wheat. This is why bread, if you flee from mankind's houses, if they hide you away or deny you, if the greedy man pimps for you, or the rich man takes you over, if the wheat does not yearn for the furrow and the soil, then bread, we will refuse to pray. Bread, we will refuse to beg. We will fight for you instead, side by side with the others, with everyone who knows hunger. We will go after you in every river and in the air. We will divide the entire earth among ourselves so that you may germinate. And the earth will go forward with us, water, fire, and mankind fighting at our side. Crowned with sheaves of wheat, we will win earth and bread for everyone. Then life itself will have the shape of bread, deep and simple, immeasurable and pure. Every living thing will have its share of soil and life, and the bread we eat each morning, everyone's daily bread, will be hallowed and sacred because it will have been won by the longest and costliest of human struggles. This earthly victory does not have wings. She wears bread on her shoulders instead. Courageously she soars, setting the world free, like a baker, borne aloft on the wind. Ode to Bread Pablo Neruda